This morning, News 5 continues to follow through on the stories impacting your community. When others leave, we return. And that's the case in Louisville. News 5 was there as the community came together to overall overhaul and upgrade um, an old ballpark back in March of 2023. More than a year later, they're back in action and building another field. Mike Holden joins us live with more on how they made it all happen. And Mike, it's all about the community and the kids. Guys, good morning to you. Spot on. This is really the community supporting the community. They saw the need, they took action, and this is the end result. They say there was such a strong, clear demand for a second ball field, they made it happen. And they were able to do so thanks to generous community partners, Home Depot, as well as an army of volunteers and parents, and the kids, well, they're thrilled. I love playing, and this is the best place to play. 10-year-old Parker Bartlett says this baseball field right behind the Sacred Heart of Mary Church there you go. has become a second home for him and his buddies, brothers Parker and Preston. We got all free balls. It's where they can practice their batting and perfect their pitching in hopes of hitting home runs all day long. It's amazing. I mean, it's just nice that we have somewhere to play. And News 5 followed through. We were there back in March of 2023 when the community overhauled the once overgrown space. Thanks to some local dads and through a $13,000 grant from Home Depot's Team Depot Foundation, they brought the field to life and the kids finally had a place to play. Fast forward to June of 2024, well, the iconic movie phrase from Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come, has taken on a literal meaning here. Another new sprawling baseball field is in the works. Home Depot greenlit efforts and Home Depot's Team Depot Foundation awarded a $25,000 grant for work on the second larger field. Our cameras were rolling as a small army of parents, volunteers, and local companies gave back and got to work. Bag excavating, uh, donated a ton of field dirt. Um, you know, this was about a foot lower than what it was. I just spray can like help get the rocks out of the field and stuff. Crews from Nichols Fence out of Akron measured and carefully installed a 300 foot fence around the field. It can now accommodate travel and high school teams for years to come. They put it all together and it's here. I mean, it's amazing. The need for more space for local athletes was apparent as the youth baseball organization exploded in popularity. Expansion, I would say. The Ohio Gators Association uh, at, at once had one, one, one team over there, 9U team. Now they have 8U, 9U, 10U. Those involved say this latest project shows the strength and generosity of the community, and they couldn't be more proud of this labor of love. It's a tight-knit group. Uh, definitely from what I've seen, you know, everyone looks out for each other, they love each other, and they're always looking out for each other. We just hope the kids enjoy it, and it's here for a very long time. It just shows a lot. It says that we're willing to put in the work. Now that field is ready for late summer as well as fall ball, and they say huge kudos to the parents and volunteers in some instances, Mike and Tiffany. The parents knew that they needed bobcats. They had them at home. They brought them out. They pushed around the dirt. Parker, who you heard from in the story, he was getting dirty, helping out as well. Truly a team effort by every definition of the word. And we have to point out, if there's a story at home you want us to follow through on, the process is so simple. Shoot me an email to mike.holden at wews.com, but we follow through in the subject line, or you can do it on the other prior stories. There's a form right there. Guys, I love a community story all coming together, making a huge difference. I agree, Mike. What an awesome story. Thank you so much.